Right lads, just a quick one on your boards. The standard set boards and then that when you get in, this is how um, the markings that I'm making and that make life a bit easier. All they are just straight lines down and reference lines at the top, but they, they just come in handy when it comes to doing, well anything really, and setting out when you want to hook it on the end line up the edges. Right, so you've got your board out. Again, sometimes I find the centre one, you don't have to find the centre of it. And to make the lines, if you have a line just square, it doesn't matter, just use your template. See your square on the end. Now to make a line, just pull your knife down, turn the blade, scratch. That leaves a burr up there. Now that burr is good enough to stop a tile or reach a tile, but we can move on to that further. Anyway, you'll need some 9 by 3 iron bones, or 18 by 3 doesn't really matter, don't make them what it is. If you haven't got a Jeff Square, find something else that's going to give you a 45 anyway, but you obviously want it dead on. Get your first one in place, and line it up to where that one hits at the bottom. This is because, so when you line it up and you get it on those points there, that is where this plank has got to be. Once you've got that one in place and you're on solid, make a mark as well, get the next one, put it in, slide it down. Now you've only got to do gentle marks, don't push it if you want accuracy, not nothing else. Basically, so you get the gist of that. So then now once you've got them in place and that lot, then you can make them deeper like a game. Either use your Jeff Square and that lot to get the angles. Okay, you just score the line, turn the blade, and just drag it so you lift it. Do that all the way along. And once you've done all them going along, again I'll be using tin plate, if you ain't got just square. Put a diamond into the bottom, just put a line down. Doesn't matter how many lines you have, I'll do them at the top of them as well, you know? Over it. That's got a bird, you know, that's a matter where they can stop a tile in places. But when you come to actually doing it, if you want to use the rack and stack, what I'd most suggest, and then I'd cut maybe triangles for it or set it in there, because the board I will be making will have these angle bits on the top and the bottom there. So when you actually throw your hair and bones in, what you want them to be doing is actually locking. So you'll have one in this corner and one at the top. But anyway, that's what's to come. Video tonight is uh, just to show you a bit more and talk about foot five. Firstly, when you get it, the aim is going to come jump straight out of the box and just work on that lot. I mean, a lot of times you're going to be doing certain cuts 
and you'll be swearing like you've got it right and everything like that, they'll be coming up a little bit short that angle or something off that side, but trust me, it'll be something to do with the lining up or something like that, but you've just got to practice with it and play with it, but when you start getting the hang of it, it's brilliant, it really is. So this one ain't the greatest cut that we want to look forward to on here, you know. Usually on your board there, slide it out there so you know you've got it up to square. Now it's different because in the other 45 you put it on there, wouldn't you? Drop it and going up to there. But now you've got it almost like it's a double whammy sort of thing, but it's very important to get that on there, otherwise it all goes out. Now, yeah. template. Like well, I said, you will get used to all your own one. I'll keep opening up new packs and just using new ones just to show it works and that. But I'll draw it in line so you can see it. You'd want to make that mark anyway just for your reference cut and just put them in. But sometimes it's where you put the template, honestly. Because if you're working at an angle, it can go anywhere. These can drift off when you're flying off the angle as well, you've got to watch that. After a while you just start doing it second nature, but to start off with it can be a little bit on the frustrating side, but it does work. What you need to do is if you are stuck, you haven't got to send me privately or anything like that, I'll do it on muckers, because there'll be others there that might be the same, you know. Uh, I've had a guy like Mike Acton and that from up north and that sending me pictures. He got it, you know, he, he knew, he trusted it, he knew how to work it, and it, it's all to do with learning how to use your templates and doing things like that. It's like trying to get a different way of thinking. Once you've got that way of thinking, you can adapt it to so many different things. Again, this is like the methods I saw like learn off Jeff, but Towards the end, as we worked together in that lot, we used to have to get the work done, so we never really had time to, for me to learn all these things all that, that great. But it's once you understand it, I mean, that cut, to be honest with you, wouldn't be a very friendly one to do, I would have thought. But there you go. And then, when we get to the corners, I'm just give it a little chip off. Push that off on you. You double whammy. This, to be honest with you, it's always been my favourite. I think it might be a triple. All it is that most of you, like me, you don't get to do LBT all the time in that life. You do carpets and all the others and stuff like that. So this is like, it is really hard to do. You need to be doing a good one of it and doing loads of it, you know. But none of us really get the opportunity. And when you are on a job, no one's really got time to muck about. So hopefully this is a service that I'll be able to do for you guys. In the last video I showed you where you can use the boards to rack up two or three and that lot. We'll have to go into that a little bit more in depth, but 
it really is honestly lads it's one of those ones you just need to have a little bit of practice and then it becomes that tool but i mean for ages when i first got it a lot of the time sometimes it'll be in the van the other versions and then oh, i couldn't be asked to get it out but i've never really had a chance to do that much with it really because again you're always on the bloody pressure to get your job done Anyway, oops, that one made a bit blurry, let's not do that again. See, That was probably that little bit of an earlier movement there I just had, I had earlier. Wrong movement, sorry. Anyway. Another thing I noticed as well when I, when I was working the other day. Oh, this is it, top it's going to be miles off. See, this is one of those exact situations where one of these, one, something's going to be short here, and I ain't going to know why. But if you look at that now, that short and that one was all right, but it was the other way round. Now, yeah. step it up again. For this one, just going to cut a little angle on this one. When you fire them in there, it's better to either get them to a point where they can lock with it. Basically, you want to get into the position where it ain't going to hold it still. I could have done with the longer one there, but we're going to do it anyway. So, and then get the next one in there. I'll lock it in with the next one. Pushed up against that wall there, that's much better to sort of lock it in place so you haven't got to worry too much about it moving because you know it's backing off of there. So you take that cut again. You know, sometimes it's just when you, you, you lose your concentration a little bit or you just throw something in there and you don't cut it the same way, you can just throw it off. Now, let's have a look. Now that's with the same tool <laughs> it's just holding it differently. I didn't think that one looks so good. But it's just the way it goes. You've just got to really concentrate when you're throwing those ones in. I am going to be getting the for each one of them. You've heard about it, the lock board. Now I'm going to make them 
for all planks. Like